We talk a lot about COVID-19 tests, how many our local health systems have processed, where to get one, how to get one. But how about what type of COVID test to get? So let's take a closer look. Now we've all seen these pictures. Yeah, it's easy to feel uneasy, that scary looking Q-tip up your nose. This is called a genetic test. So far, it's proven to be the most accurate, but it's not perfect. You need a good swab to detect it. That's why that long Q-tip goes so far up your nose. Now, not all of them look or feel as uncomfortable as this, and some use saliva instead of that swab. You can also get an antigen test. It looks for proteins found on the surface of the coronavirus rather than the virus itself. Now, you still need to get a nose or throat swab for this one, and it's still pretty new and not as accurate as the genetic test, but they are cheaper, and it only takes about 15 minutes to get the results. Then there are antibody tests. Those reveal if you've already had the virus. The test looks for a specific protein in a blood sample. Now these are useful to scientists because it helps them figure out how many people have been infected. Now something that helps back all of this up is contact tracing. In Virginia, there is the COVID Wise app. So far, more than half a million people have downloaded that app in the past month. Apple and Android will roll out a new contact tracing app in Maryland and DC within the next few weeks.